Merry Christmas folks, the day is rapidly approaching. My name's Nick, we're on the Commodore 64 and we're into the Christmas games now. Carol's playing all the way along. Uh, this is a public domain game published by ZP Verlag in 1992 under the guise of Santa Claus Productions. It's a crosshair single screen shooting game where we need to shoot everyone that's holding something green, I think. So green presents, green balloon, green beret, anything green, I think. If we shoot the wrong thing, we lose a life. Life's in the top left, score in the top right. Right, so I'm moving this crosshairs. Who's got something green? Boo, 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 boo. Right, there we go, shoot that with a snowball. And I've missed that one, so I've lost a life. If I shoot anyone that's not holding the right stuff, I'm doomed. It's basically, try and survive as long as you can. Great backdrop, great graphics. Fire your snowballs. If you've got snowballs, comment below. Now, you can try and identify the songs that are playing in the background. This is a classic. It's Mary's Boy Child by Boney M. I love um, Ra Ra Rasputin, really. He was Russia's greatest love machine. Don't know who was second. Uh, probably Zangi from Street Fighter 2. If you are Russia's greatest sex machine number two, love machine, whatever, comment in the comment section below. Right, we're shooting green stuff. How are we doing? Public domain. Each year, I struggle to find now, because we've been going so long, classic games we haven't covered on, uh, on uh, with a Christmassy theme, but there's loads of homebrews about, so um, we'll probably keep going there. Stage two, well done me. This is my first go, we're having a jolly good time. Hope your Christmas shopping is going well. Bom, 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 bom. Bom, 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 bom. One, two, three, go, go, go. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose, and if you ever saw it, uh, you'll probably be blinded, I'd imagine. Right, Jingle Bells, Batman Smells, Robin Laid an Egg. The Batmobile, it broke a wheel, and the Joker got away. Sing your own lyrics to that, there's a few different versions. How am I doing now? I've got one life left. Oh man, when, they, when they're far apart from each other, I have trouble to get both of them. But, Maybe you have to guess your way. Pity, game's over. Not for some people. But anyway, it's one of those games, in reality, you'd only play for about a few minutes, then go and play something else. But uh, we're having fun. We're stress busted. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It's a Christmassy thing to do, you know. Right, off we go again. Right, okay. Oh, look. Da -da, da -da -da. I'm already down to two lives. Where can I get a bonus life? So, we're doing individual rounds, we need to survive a certain amount of time, there's no time ticking down, so I don't know how much longer there is to get to the next stage. Don't, don't shoot the people holding skis, don't shoot, shoot normal snowmen, either in this game or in real life, because they might be real. I'm not sure this game came out on the ZX Spectrum, you know. We, we reviewed a very, well, a game with a similar name called The Snowman. We actually get items of clothing for the snowman. But uh, this is different. This is just basic shooting, any one of three. A bit like West Bank, but less advanced. West Bank, that was a good old game, wasn't it? Bum 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 bum. Put your favourite Christmas game below on any system. We probably covered it already, if it's on the Commodore 64 or ZX Spectrum, but you never know. Shoot green stuff. Mary's boy child, do 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 Bethlehem, was born on Christmas Day. Sing it, baby. La 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 la. Santa's on his way, I think. Do do. So it goes Jingle Bells then and Mary's boy child by Boney M. What a good selection of songs. 1992 this was. Um, how old was I in 1992? 18, I think. Yes, that works out. So I was just getting to the point where I'd have to go out and buy presents and stuff and it's Christmas was getting a bit of a hassle. But never mind. Gone with those years where we get a bike, Star Wars figures, loads of chocolate to make your teeth go brown and all those happy times. La la la. What game did you get for Christmas, man? Robocop 2. Oh, me too. Why didn't you ask to say different? That was Gary's fault. But anyway, I've gone off on a tangent as I quite often do. Keep shooting, man. Do you know what to do in this game straight away? It's public domain, so probably one of those games you had to send off for in the back of a magazine. You wouldn't have seen it on the um, shelves or anything. Uh, ZP Verlag, I don't think, I'm not sure if we reviewed it too much from him, if anything at all. But, uh, but uh, yeah, he's quite lively on the homebrew scene, produced quite a lot of games, to my memory. Anyway, we're Christmas in. Do jingle bells, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at my hat there, it's got a bell on the top, but the guy's not moving. 
It's just a single graphic there. Two guys in, like, I don't know where they were, onesies. Right, so the graphics are quite limited here. Uh, got, got, got different, good snowman, bad snowman. Man in, um, I don't know, blue onesie. Uh, Santa with present, Santa without present, ski man. Right, it's got a present, shoot him. Yay. Right, how are we doing now? If you've played this game before, or since after reviewing this, and you've come back, please tell me what stage did you get onto. If any of you got onto stage 10, then well done. I seem to lose my lives, as I say, when the left and right one both require me to fire in both different directions, which I can't do. It's not that advanced, there's no power-ups, it's just a Christmas jokey sort of game uh, that you expect. Stage 4, right, okay. Stage 4. Merry Christmas, folks. Have a good one. Got rest ye merry gentle men and women. Three wise men, yes. Uh, they started following a star. Don't know why. Sounds like a pub decision to me. How did they arrive at that? Yeah, they picked three absolutely random presents that a baby wouldn't have. Gold, frankincense and myrrh. They travel for ages following this star. Uh, the guy with the gold that weighs miles took more than the other two. Uh, they probably said, look, this is so heavy. What just, why did we do this for? Said, you should have brought a wheelbarrow, Ken. Probably his name was Ken. Uh, and, then, and then Ken probably said, well, the wheelbarrow isn't invented for another 200 years. And they probably had a good old punch up. Uh, and then they continued on following that star. Uh, this this, this was, bit wasn't in the Bible, it was edited out, it was in the bloopers reel. Uh, they carried on and then they, they found that that little guy uh, in a, um, a stable in Bethlehem. Uh, it was uh, Mary's boy child, Jesus Christ, as the song goes, and Boney M were there to document the whole, whole situation. There we go, I'm a historian and I've told you all you need to know. And now uh, C.P. Verlag heard about it and um, has done this shooting game with snowballs uh, to commemorate the event. And why wouldn't you? I don't think there's much snowball fights going on at Bethlehem, uh, Jesus Christ's uh, 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 birthday. They couldn't find anywhere at the inn, of course, and the reason was because it was so busy, because it was Christmas. Yes, duh, 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 duh. citation needed on that one. Jesus Christ was born on Christmas Day. What a coincidence! Mm -hmm. I bet the wise men turned up and said, look, just to be sure, this is your birthday and Christmas presents together. Yeah. Gold, frankincense and myrrh. What did they buy them next year? Scale electric, maybe? I don't know. Right. Or Commodore 64, maybe. Yeah. Right. How am I doing? I've still got three lives left. I'm doing okay. Let's try and get as far as we possibly can. I've already been playing this game miles too long. If you want to see other Commodore 64 games we've reviewed, they're all in the playlist. To get there, click on my username, it takes you to the channel page. Uh, click on the playlist tab, Commodore 64 will be there. They're not all Christmassy stuff, so you might be okay. Yo. Right, I'm sure you're doing your own Jingle Bells lyrics now, aren't you? Here we go. Full Factor Force 5. Uh, what am I talking about? I do not know. So, uh, yes, this is like um, gun targets, I suppose on a firing range that someone set up. Probably charge this guy a tenner uh, to go in. If he gets to a certain level, he'll get a teddy bear or a collection of sweets or a chocolate bar or a Toblerone. Toblerone always goes down well at Christmas, doesn't it? Look out for cheap Toblerones. Duh, duh, duh. The problem is, the problem with chocolate now is I used to be okay, but I seem to get a bit of a coughing fit now. My throat closes in. Don't say I'm getting allergic to chocolate, so I have to have it in small amounts with a drink, possibly a Bailey's uh, there, um, and then I'm okay. Um, don't overdose in chocolate, or anything really. Um, anything can kill you if you have too much of it. Custard, if you have like um, a whole ocean of custard and you parachute into it, uh, miles away from the shore, that could be bad. If you have done that, then comment in the comment section below. Right. What song's this now playing? Fill me in, baby. Right, okay. Two Santas there. They look like they've been to Slimming World. There's the Iceman in the middle. How the hell am I making this review last so long? Well, I'm in a Christmassy mood, aren't I? I've decked the halls with bells of holly. The deck's the floor, so the floor's covered in sharp holly. Uh, the tread on that. Now's the season to be jolly. Not in A&E, with holly sticking out of your feet. Uh, that is for sure. Yes. 
I think another line is that Don we now our gay apparel. Fa la 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 la. Not round my house, you don't. I'm not against it or anything, but why why are you doing that round my gap? Anyway, a lot of these hymns are flawed. Most notably that cucumber song. Cucumber, my lord, cucumber. As you see, I go off on a tangent, most in particular in these uh, Christmassy things, but if you watch this far in, you're already. You're already an income poop like me. You've gone astray. There's no commentary on YouTube quite like this. If there is, someone trying to copy me, uh, there's finally pretty difficult going. I feel sorry for them. Right, how many green things have we shot here? Uh, note to yourself, don't get absorbed. I know this is very close to reality, this game. Uh, you might not know how to tell the difference between this and reality. When you go out normally, don't fire snowballs at anything that's green, okay? Especially giant toads or old women with green bubble hats on. Don't do that. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, is it now? That's not a Christmas song. How I wonder what you are. Well, so bright. Dynamite. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I've run you over in my car. Okay, I don't know the lyrics. I go my own way. I'm a bad boy from the wrong way into the track. Rebel without a clue, that's me. I'm a snowball fighter, and that'll do. As I've died, okay, I bet you're glad that that happened. Anyway, an interesting game. It's a throwaway silly game designed specifically for Christmas. And for what it's worth, I liked it as a commercial release, awful. As a muck about silly Christmas cracker sort of a game, awesome. Okay, hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Snowman, published by CB Verlag in 1992, under the guise of Santa Claus Productions. Hooray for that! If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, Christmas, or anything retro, then put that in the comment section below. You're more than welcome. Until next time, a Merry Christmas once again. Take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose, and if you ever saw it, uh, you'd probably be blinded, I'd imagine. Jingle bells. Batman smells. Robin laid an egg. The Batmobile, it broke a wheel, and the Joker got away.